Hello guys, it's the Agent Werewolf back with another video. And today's video I'm going to do another Spongebob creepypasta called Spongebob's Fireplace, an alternate ending. Any guy think you might like this episode, uh, let me know in the comments below and let me and let me know what else you guys want to see. Before we, let the, before we get the video started, please sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you know, as always, comment. So, with that being said, let's get in with this video. Spongebob Fireplace, an alternate ending. I used to be a big fan of Spongebob Squarepants, and it's pretty much, and pretty much watched it when I was a kid. Well, I say used to because of an incident that won't be forgotten by me anytime soon. Anyway, me being a fan of Spongebob Squarepants got me, got me to get Amazon Prime Video on Roku. I bought basically every single season up to season 12. I was watching and I was watching the episode One Course Meal when, when, and thank God it happened. I got a link to a new episode. I said thank God it happened because I mean, who would really enjoy the episode? Anyway, I clicked the I clicked the link, wondering what would what it would be like. I really, really shouldn't have. The title was called SpongeBob Fireplace: An Alternate Ending. This was strange because I could not recognize the name. What was also strange is that the fact that it had a thumbnail with a re with a weird creature. Thing in thing in the animated fireplace. I shrugged this off and watched the episode. What I what I'm about to type are the details of the episode. The episode started off normally, which made me think it's, it was a spam. It turned out to be that episode where Patrick and SpongeBob are throwing snowballs at each other, causing Squidward to join in. With the end, the episode began him throwing snowballs everywhere as the tree above him drips snow on his head. However, I say alternate ending, I mean it. After it shows SpongeBob inside the house with Gary, it showed a card saying three years later with a French accent guy. the exact same thing as he always does. This is odd. Afterwards, it shows Squidward still throwing snowballs everywhere. This time, however, he had red eyes. The same you get when you haven't slept in a while. But his eyes are worse. He has a little decayed. He was a little decayed. And, and threw the snowballs lower, lower than he did at the end in the actual episode. It showed that for about a minute or so, and then SpongeBob walked out, he looked perfect. Like, the three years never happened to him. Want to come inside to warm up, he asked Squidward. Meh, sure, Squidward said in his usual unhappy tone. He got out of his snow base thing and walked inside Spongebob and walked inside with, Sponge with Spongebob. But then, but something was wrong in there. Every room locked decayed and old. This was static in numerous places here, but I figured it was just the unfinished episode. This one mom took Squidward into a 
fireplace were most likely the one used at the end of the actual episode. The room was odd. The only room that looked good... The room was oddly an only room that looked good. It was like it didn't age, like Spongebob. Sit down in the fireplace while I go get something. Spongebob said as he walked out of the room, Squidward sat down in front of the fireplace and warmed up a little. After two minutes of Squidward sitting there, Spongebob walked in with a knife. I was quickly shocked at this. The figured, the figured he also had a sandwich or something. Then continue watching. He walked up to Squidward and said, "Get in the fireplace so I can cook you." I was slightly confused and, and processed it while thinking about the events that already happened. Then I remembered the thumbnail. Holy hell! That all. That's all I said as I looked up at the remote. And I looked at my remote. Now, be honest, have you ever have you ever had a dog that liked to chew on stuff? I didn't and turned on the remote while I was watching it without me noticing. I grabbed the remote and tried to turn the episode off. On screen on the screen, Squidward is pushing through the fireplace and screaming as SpongeBob smiles and watches. I finally turned the episode off at the exact same frame the thumbnail was on. I wanted to tell Prime about it, but I was tired as hell and decided to go to bed. Then I woke up and I wanted to check the episode status, but it was gone. I knew I made some photo of the episode on my phone. Gone. Not to worry, I recorded it. Oh wait, gone. I took the videos of scenes and I had a photo of the tile card, the photo of the thumbnail, and three extra photos of the episode. Gone, 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 gone. I was confused at how the episode and any evidence I had were missing. I felt like trying to search for the internet, but it was clearly never heard of it. I don't know who made it, why they made it, or why my evidence of it was gone along with the episode itself. But if you go somewhere and you're watching or, or you're watching the episodes themselves and get the offer to watch to watch an episode called Spongebob Fireplace just ignore it it's for your own good I hope you guys enjoyed that episode if you guys have let me know in the comments below also subscribe to my channel um, hit the notification bell and also hit the like on this video because I'm so close to getting more subscribers through this year. So, you know, and this video gets to, let's say, 100 likes, I'll drop my next video. If it gets less than 100 likes, more like one or two, then I'm just gonna upload anyways because, you know, some people just don't like creepy pasta anymore. So, you guys have. Let me know. And this is the Agent Werewolf in peace out.